Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. I am your host, Katrina Jamison. I am the founder of Legend Leaders, where we arm business leaders with the strategies they need to live life on their terms, a legendary life. We're still in the month of September. We are talking about embracing your too much characteristics, right? Embracing who you are, your gifts. That's the topic this month. If you haven't listened to the first one about how to embrace it, uh, if you haven't listened to last week's episode about how to ask the right questions so that you understand, is it really the good feedback you need to listen to and adjust, or is it really just someone else feeling inferior? You need to go listen to those. Okay? Now, I have gotten some great questions coming out of the previous two episodes. Thank you for those questions. I love them. I welcome them. Keep them coming always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But a question that I received was, okay, Katrina, I get it. I am supposed to ask questions because it could be that my boss, my peer, someone on the board, an investor, right? Someone, you know, my co-owner in the business even, right? They're feeling a little inferior to my gifts. And so they're giving me feedback under the premise of, let me help you succeed, right? Because when, when we say that, and we know these individuals, we assume that that's the truth and we want it to be the truth. And so we listen to it and we change. But when I realize that's what they're trying to do to me, Katrina, I'm a little frustrated. I don't like that they actually tried to make me less than to make themselves equal to me. Because there are things that they're great at that are definitely not my strengths. And I'm okay with that. That's why we make a good team. Well, couple things there. Number one, you are amazing, okay, no doubt, and you see the bigger picture, and you know that you don't have to make people feel less than or reduce their talents or gifts in order to make you feel better. That's what makes you a good leader, okay? That's step number one. Recognize that within yourself. But we're human. Every person is human. We have weaknesses. We have fears. And sometimes we can allow those fears to get the best of us. And we say things or we do things in our leadership that probably isn't the best judgment. I'm going to say probably. I would, you know, one-on-one -on -one I would say definitely isn't the best judgment. And we say things that we probably shouldn't say or we do things that could damage the team. Because we're human. And so in those moments, if you've ever experienced that in your career, what I want you to do is this. What I want you to do is I don't want you to get frustrated. I don't want you to get angry because here's what you're going to do instead. I want you to empathize with that individual. I want you to empathize. I want you to ask the questions, get the feedback that they're giving you about whatever you're too much. You, pro you solve problems too fast. You, you need to give someone else a turn. Okay, well, who am I not giving a turn to, right? That's what we talked about last week. They can't tell you who. It's probably them. They're feeling inferior, right? They're not going to tell you it's me. It's me. I should be able to come and give all the answers as your supervisor, and you're not letting me do that. They're not going to say that to you. But that's what they're thinking. That's what they're feeling. But professionally, they can't say that. So that's what you're, through your questions, you're going to figure it out. And when you've embraced your characteristics that make you you, you're able to do that. Because it's, it's not a challenge. It's not a weakness that they found. You're able to stay level-headed and ask questions. So you're asking the questions. They're giving you the feedback. In this instance, you realize that it's not you that's the problem. It's a weakness they have within themselves. It's a fear that they have. I don't want you to go to the place of frustration or anger. It's common. It's human. But again, prepare yourself. Because if you're prepared, you already know how to handle it. If you let your emotions start running... That's the place you're going to go. You're going to go to anger and frustration. But we're ready. We're having this conversation right now. I'm talking to you right now, teaching you how to handle this so that you don't have to go there. You're going to go to a place of empathy. That's how you're going to solve this problem. Because here's what's going to happen if you don't. Number one, again, you're going to feel frustrated, angry. You know, just you're going to feel like they disrespected you. You may not be able to respect this individual going forward. A lot of things could happen, potentially. And then the relationship is going to be rocky. Because trust is going to be broken. And you don't need that. 
if you can go to a place of empathy, if you can sit down and after you get the answers to your questions, you can say, oh, it's not, I'm not the problem. This is just not their strength. Then what I want you to do is I want you to put yourself in their shoes. I want you to be able to say, okay, now let me see the world through their lens. What's happening right now? Is there a big project that's coming up? Is something happening in their world? Are they feeling like they're less valuable because they don't have this skill and I do? How can I teach them this skill so they feel better? Or how can I use certain words to show them that I'm on their team? I'm here to make them look better if that's my supervisor. I'm here to help them as a co-owner of the business. They're great at this. I'm great at this. That's what makes us a great team, right? What is it? If you can empathize, then the relationship is going to stay on track. Because again, they didn't come to you to mess up the relationship. They came to you because they want to maintain the relationship. They don't know how to do it other than asking you to be smaller in that area that you are so amazing in. They, are, they only know how to ask you to be smaller so that they can feel okay. They can feel safe. They're afraid. Something has them afraid. If it's truly the feedback that, that really shows you that they are trying to make you smaller, that it has nothing to do with trying to make you be better and just tweak a little bit to really amplify your gift, they're asking you to downplay your gift. 99% of the time, that's a weakness they have within them, and they don't know how to handle it. So empathize with that. No doubt, we've all been in situations where we haven't known how to solve the problem. We don't know how to make ourselves better. We don't know how to use our own gifts to be better. So we feel like we have to dampen other people's gifts or we're not going to get promoted or we're going to lose our job because we don't have that gift over here. When in reality, what helped us get promoted are the gifts we actually have. And you know that. That's why you're in your seat. That's why you're able to embrace your gifts, your talents, your too much characteristics, but they haven't been able to do that yet. So this is how you can help them. You empathize. You see the world through their eyes. You seek to understand their perspective. And when you can understand their perspective and you can empathize, then the relationship isn't damaged. You can help them in their leadership. And everything is better because of it. Okay? That's how you do it. That's how you solve that question. Stay away from the anger and frustration. Don't let the relationship be damaged. And now I know you didn't damage it. You didn't go there. But think about how many relationships you have with family or friends or your spouse or significant other where they said something out of fear and they wanted a reaction from you, but really all they wanted was your help because they didn't know how to solve the problem any other way. It's the same in this situation, but you won't see that unless you empathize with them. And if you can do that, that's going to make you a better leader. It's going to make you a better leader for them. It's going to make you a better leader in your organization and for your direct reports. Empathy is a gift that if you can give it and use it, you're a better leader for it. So that's how you do it. You empathize. So I want you to think about a scenario where this has happened to you previously and if you would have empathized, how would the relationship have been different? If you, if you did empathize, how did it make it better? Ask yourself these questions. So again, you can get it in your brain. You know how to handle the situation from today forward. No doubt. No doubt. Will you ever be made to feel small again for your gifts? You know how to navigate these situations and discussions. And because you know how to navigate it, you can help your team be better at it as well right? How did you handle it in the past? How will you handle it moving forward? Create your plan. How will you handle these situations going forward? So it's not a surprise. You aren't taken off guard. You know how to handle it. You have your playbook and you're ready to go. That's your challenge. Go and be legendary.